I'll say a nice little uh, white gift that's going to be coming your way up in Boston. All right, here's a live look right now at the radar. And we do have a little bit of mixing over parts of uh, Long Island. Uh, those of you right across the uh, Connecticut Gold Coast, you are going to end up seeing just a little bit of light mixture in around the area as well. Hampton right now, as well as Fire Island, uh, going to be seeing some rain. Hence the reason why uh, those of you in New York, uh, New Jersey, as well as Connecticut, even uh, southwestern portions of the Bay State are under a winter weather advisory. Uh, the really big concern with this is as this precip moves across your area, it could provide some slick conditions. Let's put future track into motion. So here we go. Seven o'clock. We'll see some on and off again showers for those of you in south uh, eastern New Jersey. And then as Britain was talking about, uh, this is going to be a one two punch for those of you across the mid Atlantic and the northeast. So right around lunchtime, we could see some snow in places like Worcester as well as Springfield. Those of you in uh, New Haven as well as Hartford could see some rain showers. New York City will also end up seeing some on again and off again rain showers. And then towards the latter half of the afternoon and into the evening, that is when we'll see the greatest chance for those rain showers. And those rain showers will extend from Trenton, New Jersey, through New Haven, Connecticut, and up to the Boston area. And you see some of that uh, yellow that's popping up there. That means we could end up seeing some moderate rain showers moving across there as well. Look at what's happening up in Bangor, Maine, as well as Caribou, Maine. That is where we do have the greatest chance at seeing some snow today as well, creating some slick conditions. And this is going to last through tomorrow as well. Right around lunchtime is when we could end up seeing some snow up there as well. Hence the reason why we do have that winter weather advisory that goes until tomorrow morning. So those of you in Lincoln, Augusta, uh, extending down into Plymouth, Concord, and even Nashua up in New Hampshire and Bennington over in Vermont could end up seeing some of this slick stuff as well. So how much snow are we potentially going to see with the system? Well, it really depends on where you are. Likely for the majority of you across New England, it'll be one to two inches, but I would not be surprised to see uh, some higher amounts in places like Caribou, Augusta, and even just to the west of Portland as well. So just be careful as you had out and about in the overnight hours into tomorrow. So as far as the rain showers go for today, Washington all the way down to Wilmington, uh, North Carolina will likely end up seeing some rain showers topping out in Wilmington, North Carolina, right around 51 degrees. Our nation's capital right around 41 degrees. New York City will top out in the mid 30s today, 37 over in Montauk, and it'll be pretty much the same over in the Boston area. And then as we get slowly to the north, that is where we'll likely end up seeing temperatures topping out in the mid to upper 20s and even low 30s. And then for tomorrow, Jackman will likely top out right around the freezing mark. Over in Bangor, we'll likely see that mixing through the overnight hours and into tomorrow. We'll top out right around 36 degrees. 39 for those of you over in Portland and Boston tomorrow will top out near 41 degrees. So definitely make sure that you bring along that umbrella. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way. So make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.